Hi everyone, Sarah here to let you know something that you need to know today. You are not your thoughts. You are not obligated to think your thoughts. <sighs> so many people think that they are their thoughts. You have your thoughts, you hear your thoughts, you feel your thoughts because they create feelings. That is what they do. They're just doing their job, but you are not obligated to think your thoughts. So many people, especially people who are still in this space of thinking that they are what they are not, are still in such a deep state of emotional turmoil, chaos, and pain because you think that you're your thoughts. You have a thought, I'm not good enough, and you think that you are not good enough. I want you to think about how ludicrous that is for a second. You're not your thoughts. You're simply the observer, the witnesser, the experiencer of your thoughts. So Oftentimes, a lot of people say, well, I'm disassociating. I'm disconnecting. Good. Yay. That's not a bad thing. That is not a bad thing. It gets a bad rap. But when you're disassociating, disconnecting, you're becoming the observer. You're becoming the witnesser. There's the thought and there's you. You're not the thought. They're two separate entities and components. And in that, there's freedom because you get to see they're separate. They're not connected. They're not one. Just like our nose. I'm not my nose. I have a nose. I see my nose. <laughs> I see that, that there's this thing in my nose. I am the observer of the shape, of the size, of, of what is in it, what's connected to it, what's attached to it. But I, I am not my nose. It's a part of me. I can see it. I can observe it. I can experience it. When I'm sick and it's stuffed and it's full of boogers, and I can't breathe through it, I get to experience that. I get to feel how frustrating that is. But that does not mean that I've suddenly become my nose. It's the same thing with all thoughts that you have, whether they're good or whether they're bad. They're just simply neutral. Thoughts are neutral. But people get caught because they get stuck in believing that they are their thoughts. You're not. It's a part of you. And it's something that you get to experience observing and witnessing but it's not you. So when you're struggling, when you're suffering, notice what are the thoughts? What are the things that I'm thinking? What are the things that I'm saying to myself? What is that voice inside my head saying? If it's negative, notice it. If it's positive, notice it. If you want to keep it, keep it. If you don't want to keep it, change it to something different. If it's negative, it's more than likely not from you because it's telling you something that is not true about you. You are worthy. You are enough as you are. There's nothing you need to change. There's nothing that needs to be fixed except maybe <laughs> the, the thought that you think that you're your thought. And you'll know when you need to do this because you'll know when you feel the way you don't want to feel. So if you're feeling the way you don't want to feel, more than likely you're telling yourself a lie. Well, I'm my thought. No, you're not. <laughs> we get caught up in believing these stories and these lies when we're just witnessing them. We're lying to ourselves and telling ourselves we are them. You're not. So if you're having trouble, if you're getting stuck and caught in how to change that, let's connect. But before then, know that you're not your thought. You couldn't be even if you wanted to be. And that's the truth.